All right, well, it's a uh, beautiful, about 79 degree day here in Orlando, and we're at the Mead's Mead Botanical Garden. There we go, Botanical Garden in Winter Park, Florida. So we'll, we'll wait and see. There's supposed to be at least turtles, birds, butterflies. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we get up to, but uh, thanks for coming along. So now that we uh, got in, we were able to see the map. The orchid house is back here, close to the beginning, close to the entrance. So we're gonna walk back and see that because Amy loves orchids. What's a squirrel? Oh, there's two squirrels in flowering trees. Yeah, huh. All right, well, this is their greenhouse. Fortunately, it's locked, so we can't go in. And I can hear a water feature back there. Okay, so right by the entrance, it's right over there. There's the orchid house. Right here, they've got a couple statues, which Amy will put in pictures for those. The squirrels around here. Psychads of the world. Have some pictures of the squirrel. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Yeah, those are really cool um, statues. Yeah. They've got a few little benches here and there. Some wandering paths. Oh, I like how they got that. Yeah. It's just a natural walking path. It's like a little bit of mulch down, but otherwise... And you just kind of wander through. There's a stream running right, right down through there. Got a nice breeze going today. Hmm. That palm is very flat. Dayun El Edule from Mexico. Oh, I guess that's trash. Or it's being used as trash. You know, there's a little bit of water down there. <laughs> this is a nice spot to sit. A couple more over there. Oh. Just a nice little pond. All right, took a nice little quiet break there. Had a family come through that had a little one. She was going hiking. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Huh. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. Let's stay close to the pond for now okay. and watch for alligators and snakes. and snakes and frogs, but the frogs probably won't bite you. And here's a little stream that, that flows into it. Yeah. So I'm guessing when it rains, all of that flows all down and into this little pond. Ooh, it's dense in here. Oh. 
there's a squirrel. I heard something. I don't think this is a pet. This is that. That's a pet. I got it. This still, still isn't much of a path, but it's better than the other option. <laughs> and all of this is right down in the middle of Winter Park. <laughs> I think we're just on a deer path. Yeah. Yep. It's very lowland and boggy down here. I mean, we even have a cypress right here. <laughs> All right. I think I see a, a real path coming up. Well, we can walk back that way, or we can go straight up. You want to go up? Yeah, go up, I guess. Okay, I'll let you go first. Oh, you come tumbling down, try to catch you. Uh huh. You can bring your kids here. You can climb some mountains. It'll be a good time. On a real path. So some of that may not have been a path, but we made it out. Well, we found a proper path. So there's the restrooms, kind of in the middle. Yeah, it's cool. We actually got one of those on our uh, little porch that something has been using, some kind of mud daubers or something. There's a building over there. Oh, there's another building. So I'll just hidden back in here. You can't see it until you're there. Amphitheater over there. It's like that's a bridge over there, even. Way back over there. There's a little garden right here, too. A bunch of little paths back through here. Boardwalk here.
around on this trail, this massive tree fell over in a probably relatively recent weather event. There's bees all over in these flowers. There's a occasional butterfly, but they're being kind of skittish today. No time for us. <laughs> no time. Oh, these are neat plants. You got a long tube and then it opens up at the, at the tip. It's like a lily. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's another path. Oh, huh. First they said, no, we don't want to give them. Yeah. Oh, we're coming to the end of the bridge. That's all right. These are the choices on yeah. the weekend. Well, we'll go left, but I'm just going to show, again, one of these trees that fell over. Then you've got this huge root system, which then becomes home for even more plants. So, never seen that before. That's neat. Another cypress with all of its little knees. Yeah. I don't know if you can it's flowing good. I wonder if that's spring fed. I got another cypress, I'll go not trip over. See the water over there too. There's a little stream again. Uh-oh. Got some, got some uh, wood that needs to be fixed. Oh, interesting. We're literally in somebody's backyard. Yep, another tree fell over. <laughs> All right. There's another spring coming in. Got a little retaining wall down there. Park entrance. I think we're at the end of the trail. Yeah. Into a dead end going down that path. But so here's the bridge that we got off of. Now we're on the next path. And here's that creek again. Put some crawfish down in there. Ooh. Yeah, see that soft sand. Yes, there's a squirrel right over there.
nice little porch with some rocking chairs. All right, so we just took a break over there on that porch. We can go for the flowers or we can go for the brick craft. I'm choosing brick. I guess we're going to go this way since that's the way you went. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I'm choosing brick to get the sand on. Okay. Here's the building at the end. <laughs> I don't recall what that was for. And they've got a plant sale coming up November uh, 10th and 11th. That's their garden club. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we explored much of this side, wouldn't even touch the other side of the property, so. I think this would be a good place if you want to take the kids for a down day. Yeah. Just come with the picnic and, you yeah, know, or you just. You're used to taking a walk and you need something different. Right. Away from the park. <laughs> and this is only about 20 minutes away from our place, which is basically Disney, so. You do have to drive, but yeah. I would say. And if you're Universal, I think it would be even closer. Yeah. All right, well, we just wrapped up at the Reed Garden? Mead. Mead Garden. M E A D. Botanical Garden. And that was really nice, as you saw. Um, had a good time. We were there for about an hour and a half, something like that. And uh, since we're out this way and it's going on dinner time, decided we'd find something local. So we're going to Agave Azil Mexican restaurant. Um, so we'll go in and let you know what we think. So far, we haven't found a good Mexican restaurant in Orlando, and I know they're out there. So uh, we're going to try this one and we'll let you know. All right, so we just finished dinner at. Uh Agave Azil, and I'm probably murdering that second part of the name, uh, but it was really good. Um, we've been trying to find good Mexican food here in Orlando and haven't had any luck. The best we've been able to get is like Chewy's, which was okay. Um, then other places were also you know, similar, um, just basic Mexican. Whereas here, I got the Tacos al Pastor, which you saw the photo. Um, it was really good. The guacamole was amazing. Steak yeah. bowl, how was that? It was really filling. It had a lot of interesting flavors and um, nothing was spicy. It was just lots of flavors. Oh, I loved it. It was really good. They also had the berry taco and a bunch the of other burrito taco. Um, a bunch of other things. So they, they got a good dip. Um, they also had a bunch of high end tequilas, like, no, no. but, uh, Anyways, but that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for coming along. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, also, if you're in the Orlando area or just visiting Orlando and you know of a good Mexican restaurant, let us know. But uh, So we're glad that we found one. And if you know of more, please let us know in the comments. And of course, like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you all next time, friends. Bye. Bye.